Hey everyone, it's JJ from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator and we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comments section of our videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new here, why not subscribe to our channel? Hit that bell button so that you'll be notified of all of our next video releases. We need to get that out there because why not? So without further ado, let's answer some questions, shall we? Let's do it. The first question comes from In and Around. Hi guys, how can I adjust the sharpness in Filmora 9? Um, great question, let me go ahead and show you how to do that in Filmora 9. Let's go. With your clip in the timeline, double click your footage and check the auto enhance in the editing options in the top left. There will also be a slider to adjust, which will sharpen your image. And there you go. That's how you sharpen your image or your video clips in Filmora 9. Easy. Okay, let's get into the next question. All right, so this one is from <laughs> Comprando Moa Apei. I'm so sorry if I totally butchered that name. Um, but let's get into your question. How can I do this? in Filmora Pro help. All right, so um, I believe what the question is referring to is how to remove the gaps in the timeline. So when you're um, editing and there could be gaps in your timeline, how to remove that in Filmora Pro. All right, so let me go ahead and show you in Filmora Pro. So in Filmora Pro, if there's gaps in between two clips, just right click between the clip and click ripple delete gap. And the gap will be gone. Ta-da! Yay! No more gaps in Filmora Pro. So hopefully that helps you. Let's get into the next question. Yeah. Okay. This question comes from Mr. 305.4 Real. What a cool name. What's what best photo and video camera you would prefer to use for Filmora 9? All right. So there isn't a camera that we would recommend that works best with Filmora 9 because technically you can use any kind of camera, even your smartphone, really, as long as you can import it in Filmora 9. So what you can do is take a look at the Filmora 9 recommended system requirements and make sure that the camera you are using or plan on using has the supporting formats for audio, photo, and video. If you want to know what film equipment that we use in our studio, I will link them in the description box below. So go ahead and check those out. Okay? Boop. Next question. Okay. So this question comes from Ayush Raj. Hello. Can you make a video on how to perfectly match audio and video with two camera angle shots? All right, so you can do this by recording your audio separately from your camera angles. For example, in our USB answer setup, we have one camera and two cameras, as well as a mic that records our audio separately. Like we mentioned in our audio syncing video, we create a spike in the audio waveform by clapping to know where the audio begins when you're editing. By doing this, it will make it easier to match the audio for both the camera angles and cut between the shots. So there you go. Hopefully that helps. Give us a try and let me know what you think, if that helped you, right? Okay, so this next question comes from Dean Ward. Good video. Can I suggest a follow-up tutorial how to balance your audio volume? I import numerous clips and may have different volume levels and background noise because of how or where I record it. I find it tedious to manually adjust one by one. Is there a smarter way? Okay, so keep in mind, recording in two separate environments will require two separate edits in the audio because you don't know what circumstances might arise while you're filming the audio. So we recommend you take the time and manually edit your audio clips because that will give you the best results. So sometimes things like this can be tedious if you do it manually, but that's how you get the best results. So there, all right? Next question. Okay. <laughs> I ripped it. So next question comes from Mobile Filming. I love Filmora 9.3 and all of the improvements you guys have made. I love the fact that you're constantly improving the software. I can't wait to see what you guys do in 9.4. Aw, thank you so much for all the support and for the positive comments. We love reading all of your feedback, no matter if it's positive or negative or whatever. Keep sending us your feedback and letting us know so that we can continue to make improvements. All right? So thank you, Mobile Filming. That was so sweet. That made my day. Okay, so this, <laughs> this question is from Talk and Review. Could you do a video on how to make your voice sound better on video and do example of this? 
Not the presets, just using the bars. Nick. Hello, Nick. All right, so, so our recommendation is making sure that you're monitoring the audio levels while you're filming. So we make sure that we stay between minus six and minus 12 decibels when we're filming, which is standard for all of our videos. We also remove the background noise by using the denoise feature in Filmora 9. And if you wanna check that out, I will show you right now. First, double click on your audio file in the timeline. Next, go up to denoise and click on the remove background noise button. You can choose if you'd like to get rid of a weak, strong, or medium tone noise. If you're unsure where your sound levels lie, try out the three options and see what works best for your audio. It's all about trial and error, so I always want to try, give it a try. Boop. Boop. And that's all for our questions for today. Thank you guys so much again for all of your questions and for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.